Okay, today we're going to try something kind of weird. Um, this is how to use the simpler granular thing to make weird swings. Just kind of something I thought of in the shower this morning. Okay, so, <laughs> all right, so say you have a, gro a drum thing like this. All right, so now what we want to do with this, right, is we want to do the whole granular, simpler thing. Right, so we throw our drum loop in there, and we're gonna put it in the group for ease of naming. Um, hit that loop button, and we're gonna make our loop, you know, something. Oh shit! No, nope, don't look at that yet. <laughs> something small, and in our mapping, I would say like, you know, okay, so three percent is our. This is gonna be our grain size, anyways. So, grain size. Or you can use the loop amount for your grain size. Well, we'll maybe play with both of these parameters. This is your grain envelope. Grain envelope. Sort of. It's gonna like smooth the edges of our of our loop, right? So you can see if we bring it in, our thing's getting a little smoother on the edges there's like a little fade in fade out okay i've already covered all this so i kind of want to skim through it quickly and then this is our playhead position playhead right because pitch and um and speed are totally unlinked now uh that's the whole point of granular and that's what makes it kind of cool so now if we just put a note in right then it's just going to sound like this right so we need to move the playhead in order to get this to do anything fun so let's do that so let's make a ramp and now we have right this is not this clip this is right and then, uh, but this yeah this not perfectly aligned there we go we're gonna mess around with this stuff because we want a little bit different control. Okay, so let's turn this off. And now let's see what we can do here, right? So, <clears throat> all right, we know that this is gonna make it go straight, right? If we wanted it to go half speed, we could go like this. Right? Now, what if we wanted to put a bit of swing in here? Well, so one way we could do it, oh, we could try like this first. Uh, actually, no, first let's try like this. Because if we look back up here, this channel is off, by the way. If we look back up here, we can see our kicks and snares are sort of lined up there. So one way I thought we could make a swing is just curving these lines a little bit. If we curve this a bit like this. This is a bit tedious, but oh, I'm gonna make this bigger so we can actually see what the hell's going on. Okay, so now it's pretty cool. Oh, I quite like that. Okay, and now, whoops, I keep disabling it. Um, yeah, so now let's see what other kind of swing we can get. What if we curve the lines this way? Let's try curving them all this way first. This will be a little bit different. Kind of interesting, hey? Cur uh, groove in the other way. What if we alternate them? That could be fun as well. Let's try that. pretty weird okay so let's try some other things what if we go uh, half the time this is hard to dial in in Ableton because life is horrible <clears throat> I think I got close to that 50 oh a little bit lower 53 a little bit lower oh god this is so annoying okay alright Let's uh, just a little bit lower. Come on. Maybe to the bottom of that thing. 50.5. Okay, good enough. So now we have.
pretty cool. Yeah, so now we can really kind of just keep messing with it and see what we get. Um, yeah, we could do all sorts of other kind of funky, funky biz. Uh, let's go back to our original. We can also like, so we don't, you know, if we just want to play with this first bit, we can also just move everything down here. I guess we could do it like this. So we grab these guys and make it start right at the beginning. Um, other things we could try, for example, uh, let's try this, but then we'll make this loop half the size. And the grain length can also affect how it sounds a bit. So we could try something like this. Uh, let's try changing it over time. So now we have a really kind of easy way to make any sort of swing that we want. And I think the fun thing about this is that it's a little bit more unexpected than uh, uh, the just kind of moving stuff around in there, um, which I guess is one of its downsides also. If you want something really precise, maybe that's not the right way to do it. Here's the thing I made earlier, same loop. Okay, so that's everything for today. Thank you.